For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Guys, I'm gonna do these two problems that honestly takes just a couple of seconds to do. The board is used to hold the end of the four-way lag wrench in the position shown. When the man applies a force f of 100 newtons, find the magnitude of the moment produced by this force about the x-axis the force lies in the vertical plane. What he means by, by the force lies on the vertical plane is not that the force is vertical. doesn't mean that it's vertical. It's obviously not vertical, you can see it. It means that it lies in the vertical plane, which means that it's parallel to the y and c axis. If it's parallel to the y and, and the c axis, this can only create a moment about the x axis. So it's pretty obvious. You can see that the, the angle is 60 and the distance between the x axis and the, and the point where the force is applied, this distance is 250 millimeters, which is equal to 0.25 meters. I'm going to use 0.25 meters because Newton meters is a much common unit of force. So as you can see, this force F has a Y component and a C component. However, the y, the y component of this force is not really making any moment because it's aiming straight away from the x. It lies on the same plane as the x. And the C component of the force is the only doing any work. If you want to find the C component of this force, all you got to do is F, which is given at 100 newtons, times the sine of 60. So to find the moment that is creating about the x-axis, the moment that it creates about the x, you got to multiply the lever arm, which is 0.25 meters, times this force, F sine of 60. And it comes out to be 21.7 Newton meters. That's the answer for the first one. All you really got to do is find the C component and multiply by the distance. That's it. Now the second problem says the board is used to hold just as the same way as the problem before. If a torque of 30 newton meters about the x-axis is required, find the required magnitude of the force that the man's foot must apply. Now as you can see, we found the formula here that we're going to use. We know that m of x, let me rewrite it, 10.25 times f sine of 60 they're telling you that the moment we got to produce the moment is right here is uh, 30 newton meters so this is 30 times 0.25 times f sine of 60. what's f when you solve for f you get that is equal to 139 newtons so this is the force that you must apply to create this moment about the x-axis so final answer for the second one please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you